the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have arrived at Morocco's iconic Atlas Mountains by helicopter for their first full day of engagements in the North African country. Harry and Meghan, who touched down in Casablanca last night, are visiting the town of Andy as their royal tour of Morocco begins in earnest, with the couple learning about the Moroccan NGO Education for All founded by British entrepreneur Michael McHugo. Meghan, 37, was casually dressed in a tailored navy blazer, skinny jeans and birdie slippers, a far cry from the dazzling custom Valentino gown she wore to touch down in Casablanca last night. The organization builds boarding houses for girls aged 12 to 18 to ensure that youngsters from rural communities in the mountain region are able to access secondary education. Students lined the streets in anticipation of the couple's arrival, and Megan, who is seven months pregnant, was handed a bunch of roses by 16-year-old student Hasna. During the visit the Duchess took part in a henna ceremony, an ancient custom that is thought to have its roots in North Africa, and had a design painted on her hand to celebrate her pregnancy. The traditional henna flower was applied by 17-year-old Samira, who has lived at Afa for six years. During the visit the Duchess took part in a henna ceremony, an ancient custom that is thought to have its roots in North Africa and had a design painted on her hand to celebrate her pregnancy. The traditional henna flower was applied by 17-year-old Samira, who has lived at Afa for six years. While in Andy the Duke and Duchess will also visit a secondary school to meet students, teachers and watch the pupils playing football. The couple landed in Morocco for the start of a three-day visit to the North African country on Saturday evening and spent their first night as guests of the King of Morocco in one of his palatial royal residences. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, who wore a Valentino dress, landed in Casablanca on a commercial flight on Saturday evening and were welcomed to the country by Britain's ambassador to Morocco Thomas Riley. The couple were two hours late for their welcoming ceremony following the knock-on effects of an earlier delay to their scheduled plane which flew from the UK.